I easily get people mixed up, especially when they're cremated. Welcome to Shaven Butcher. It is uh, the 8th of January 2002 and supporters of Bolsonaro have invaded the House of well, Parliament and other buildings in Brazil. <laughs> I guess they got inspired by what happened in America on the 6th of whatever, whenever that was. Was it Jan? I can't remember. No, it was, yeah. Well, anyway. So that went well. Hopefully it's going to go just as well in Brazil. The soap today is from House of Mammoth. It's called Indigo. It has scent notes such as black pepper, blueberry, rum, vetiver, oud, and night sky. Wonder how he got that squished into this little container. That's how much I took. Got this as a sample from Moose Landschap. I have it at the bottom of this little bowl from Malmö, Sweden. The brush is from the brush is from Fislad. It's a synthetic. was a gift from when I met Cyril. Fislad is a <clears throat> very, very big YouTuber, especially in France. The bowl is too small. Should have had my Giles bowl. I don't know what I was thinking. Makes a racket. Let me just load this thing because I'm not going to build. Ah, sorry. I'm not going to build a ladder in the bowl. I'm going to build it on the face. I just want to get it loaded onto the brush of this dumb little bowl. Oh, we're nearly there, nearly there, I think. Yeah, that will do. Now this is crazy dry, so I'm gonna put more water on straight away. Just get that onto the face. <clears throat> so almost everything is in this soap. Um, you've got beef tallow, duck fat, uh, lanolin, and all kinds of oils and butters and stuff. It really is it's a smorgas, smorgas board of ingredients. I have one House of Mammoth soap since before it is Voices. So that's a collaboration with the Ladder Talk podcast to raise awareness and collect money for the fight against um, Asian American hatred. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of what I just mentioned in the beginning of the video, well, you know, it would be boring if all people were were. We're smart. Be nice, but a little bit boring. So other people can be can be jerks so that we can feel we're good. That's a positive take on it, isn't it? The marvelous soap. I think it is the same soap base or similar in a way to, to voices. This indigo sells for $25 for four ounces at Maggard's at least. They yeah, are already stupendously good. Just a world class ladder. It is Sunday evening and when we get the shave in and getting up reasonably early tomorrow. Yeah, that's a tad drier than usual, but I think we'll go with that. <clears throat> I'm pushing the limits on dryness. I'll use the façon. I've decided it's, it's façon. Fas, façon. 
I haven't decided. <laughs> Razor with a Sputnik blade in it because the Fasson blades were horrible. But this, this worked just fine the last time. The last time I shaved was... Oh. Uh, I think I made a betise. Let's see if there, there will be blood or just a little mark. And as I'll show you the blade exposure. It's quite exposed, so you need to be, be careful. And keep a shallow angle and a smile on your face. Well, don't smile too much, you might cut yourself. Big week ahead. Bit of traveling. <clears throat> Come on, come on, boy. Ah. Yeah, remember this ladder. <clears throat> it's, it hangs on. You know it's gonna drop. You can see gravity doing its thing. You know it's gonna drop, but it hangs on there in a long thread. It's a, it's a very, very good soap. Yeah, traveling to traveling to London, traveling within Sweden as well. There you go. Yeah. And some reasonably important meetings, so <clears throat> nice to get a, an early start and then nice to get a shave in on the Sunday. Um, I haven't decided yet, but I've, I'm pondering the idea of making another channel. I don't know. If I do, it would be about beer. I I like beer, but I don't know a lot about beer. <clears throat> well, yeah, no, I don't. So for Christmas, I got this, you know, pre, you know, this kit for brewing your own beer. And um, it's a bit of work. And you can, if you like it and if you get good at it, you can make your own recipes and that sort of thing. So I was, I was thinking maybe, you know, to make it interesting and to make sure I, I commit you know, to, to doing it, I should, I should sort of force myself by promising to put out YouTube content. I don't know. I don't know if I'll, if the brewing thing will, is something I'll do often, you know, but it maybe it could be about other things. You know, learning about the beer, different beers. Because I have these ideas that I like certain kinds of beers and some others. Probably prejudice in many cases, and I certainly don't know why. So we'll see. You know, it's a, it's a thought at least. <clears throat> I wouldn't do it here. If I do it, I we do something separately. And you know, it could be interaction with people who watch, if anyone does watch.
so I don't know much, but maybe the viewers will. <clears throat> and we can learn together, or viewers can teach me. I don't know, it's, it's a thought. Seems to be plenty of channels for people who know a lot about beer, so no need for that. Yeah, going a little bit quicker, getting more confidence. Probably will cut my nose off in a minute. Now it feels good. <clears throat> feels good. Good blade. The Sputniks. But, uh, mm. It's a tricky one. I put the blade down incorrectly there because I was talking or something. So we'll see what happens. It's quite, quite, quite aggressive, but it is a racer that most certainly will get the job done. <clears throat> and you know, it's not safe because it's not a safety racer. Oh God, soap in the nose. want to be a bit careful here so what do you think beer channel beer idiot I'll have to come up with a name of course that's the most important part of it I feel like I'm scratching myself a bit here and there yeah a bit of blood there that's the edge of the blade <clears throat> so the edge of the of the blade is, is exposed quite a bit. Hmm, interesting, Grace. It will require caution, respect, and a bit of bits of learning. Something here, that's just a weeper shaving too close to the blood. Yeah, extremely close. I will use the alum on the face, not because it was a rough shave, but just because I can help close up some of these small holes in the skin brilliant soap very very good soap i, I couldn't smell it a lot of it but I, I think my sense of smell is quite poor today Rinsing the, the alum off. Hmm. Got some in my mouth, it's just like makes your whole mouth go dry. Ah. Quite open. I'm going to bed. What I would have used if I wasn't was is the perfume from Martin de Congre, Petit Ver. I'm putting on. Um, Face moisturizer from Sukin. Yeah, still a little bit of blood there. But it feels good and that's going to feel and look good in the morning as well. Very good. It was Indigo from House of Mammoth. Very good soup. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great week starting tomorrow. At least, you know, at least don't. At least try and survive the week. Yeah, that's a, the minimum requirement one should have on one's weeks. See you later, alligators, and stay sharp.